Akasa Air added the 20th aircraft to its fleet in the first year of its operation. But India's youngest airline was in the news for suing 40 of its pilots who quit without serving notice period. The airline had to cancel more than 600 flights in August and more than 700 in September. While most of the pilots are understood to have accepted offers from Air India Express, the crisis points to one of the major issues the Indian aviation sector is facing, which is pilot shortage. Air travel is on the upswing and carriers are drawing up strategies to capture a large pie of passenger traffic. But non-availability of pilots and flight attendants is forcing airlines to revisit their growth strategies. Earlier this year, Business Standard reported that Air India has inducted 100 pilots for its Boeing 777 aircraft, which it flies to the US. The carrier hired an extra 140 expert triad pilots to support its expansion. But a mismatch in the addition of aircraft and non-availability of crew resulted in the airline delaying and cancelling some of its flights. No wonder there's a scramble for pilots in the Indian aviation sector today, especially for the experienced ones. This, industry observers believe, could make the smaller airlines more vulnerable when it comes to retaining their pilots. Assumes that the government I will continue to give license at the speed of 1200. Uh, at the moment, the number of facilities in the country of flying schools, etc. and all is not adequate. According to the Direct Trade General of Civil Aviation, there were 8,508 pilots flying in India in 2021-22. In 2019-20, this number was 9,002. Each plane requires 12 to 14 pilots for regular operations, as per industry standard. Considering the 1,150 aircrafts order made by Air India and Indigo and others, 15,000 to 18,000 pilots will be needed in India in the coming years. It is expected that 150 to 175 aircraft will be inducted in the year 2024, which will require 1,800 to 2,000 pilots to fly them. Though the number of commercial pilot licenses that DGCA issues has been increasing in the past few years, it is clearly not enough to sustain this demand. In FY23, DGCA issued 1,272 commercial pilot licenses. According to industry projections, it was expected that India would need 1,000 new pilots in a year for the next five years. But the recent orders made by Indian Airlines will need more pilots than what was expected before. Currently, there are 35 flying training organizations or FTOs that are functioning at 53 different bases across India. And unlike before, DGCA has started giving licenses to private flying academies. Tata's have started their own academy. So they are obviously aware of this problem. And therefore, they have started now, uh, they have decided to start training pilots themselves, which will give them sufficient amount of volumes. Now, what that volume is going to be is very difficult to say at this moment of time. Indigo also has its own plans. They also are looking at training pilots. I mean, Akasa has already said that they are training uh, enough pilots for nearly 30 aircraft. There has also been an existing trend of Indian pilots moving to Gulf countries for work. While there are many Indian pilots working abroad, very few foreign pilots prefer flying in India. According to the DGCA, only 67 foreign national pilots are flying in India as on date. Industry insiders say the tax deducted at source and other regulatory issues have been driving the foreign pilots away from Indian skies. Udit Agarwal of Aviation Consulting Group CAPA India shares a roadmap to address the pilot shortage. It has to be a three-pronged approach. Uh, of course, the independent flight training organizations and the simulator schools need to ramp up their capacity. Uh, as I said, 36 uh, flight training organizations and six ATOs with 47 simulators. These need to increase substantially. Then cadet programs and uh, airline-run institutes, as you're saying, are going to be the second uh, prong where uh, capacity has to be increased. And the third will be the uh, natural way of bridging gaps, which is foreign hiring or FATA. So the three of them have to move in parallel. And uh, that is how eventually we will be able to bridge this gap of uh, our demand versus supply. CAPA India believes that the pilot shortage won't be severe in the near term 
but anticipates a serious shortage in the next fiscal. Considering that 14 pilots are required for narrow body and 25 pilots are required for the wide body aircraft, airline will need substantial induction of pilots in the future. Aviation analysts believe encouraging new private pilot academies, better working conditions and tax incentives will also attract more pilots willing to cruise the Indian skies. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard